Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Crack UPSC CSC English. About me, I am Sandeep Bhushan Tumala and my credentials are I have 10 years of teaching experience for civil services. I teach international relations and internal security as well as in-depth analysis of the trending editorials and articles which will be very very useful and helpful for you to crack prelims as well as mains examinations. So throughout this lecture I would be emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases which are from the editorials and articles wherein while emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases we will arrive at the factual and analytical questions which will be very very useful for prelims point of view. So the factual and analytical questions we will arrive and with this will be useful for the prelims and as well as I will make you understand that the importance of the imbibing, imbibing keywords and the key phrases in the answer writing that is while you are going ahead with answer writing in regards to the mains wherein your mains answers should be precise and concise so that while your answers are precise and concise only by imbibing the keywords and the key phrases in your answers thereby your answers will be more effective and you will score more marks which is actually the main course or the main uh, situation wherein you wanted to get score high marks in the mains examination. So thereby the keywords and the key phrases are very very important so that your answer would be precise and concise and which is actually demanded by the UPSC from the civil servant aspirant. So thereby my session will definitely help you to crack prelims and mains both for 2020 as well as 2021. And before that you have a notification in regards to the Let's Crack UPSC CS English which is India's largest learning platform and once you get subscribed to it you will have live and recorded courses from India's best educators. And the privileges you get once you subscribe are the <coughs> daily live classes, live tests and quizzes and structured courses and unlimited access to the live and recorded courses and these are the educators which you can see it on the screen. And the courses available are economy, environment, current affairs and all others which you can also see it on your screen. Along with that you have the essay writing, internal security, social issues and the rest we can also see it on your screen. And the Let's Crack UPSC CAC English subscription you have 12 month subscription wherein the original price is 44,000. You can subscribe using my code SBT10 that is Sandeep Bhushan Tumal 10 to avail 10% discount on the original amount that is 44,000 and the discounted price once you use my code is BD10 you will avail 10% and the discounted price would be 39,600 and you have the other 24 month subscription for Let's Crack UPSC CAC English wherein the original price is 64,000 and do use my code is BD10 that is Sandeep Bhushan Tumala to avail 10% discount on the 64,000 which is the original price and the discounted price would be 57,600. So do take the maximum benefit for 12 month subscription using my code SBT10 and avail 10% discount. And then in regards to 24 months also do use my code SBT10 on the push and tumula 10 to avail 10% discount and the discounted price would be only 57,600 for 24 months. And now today's session is in regards to the in-depth analysis of the trending editorials and articles wherein I would be taking in this entire session. and the, I would be re-emphasizing or reiterating my keyword that is emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases wherein by emphasizing on the keywords and the key phrases across or throughout my session will definitely help you to have more of knowledge in regards to having more questions for prelims as well as mains examinations. So before I get into the topic I would say very good morning to everyone who is in the live and also in the live chat that is Dinagar. Bhuvanesh, Bhuvi, Sravani, David Paul, Venkatesh, Siddharthan, everyone very good morning and Bhuvanesh has said sir I am going to write in year 2023 at least one year uh, current affairs enough or I have to study for now. Uh, the current affairs what happens is Bhuvi <coughs> that there is no confined actually they say 8 to 12 months but sometimes when you are talking about the mains examination, mains examination definitely you need to have the background you need to know the history, you need to know the basic information and for this definitely the current affairs what you are preparing from right now will be very very useful for in regards to the mains point of view and also for the interview point of view, for the interview point of view. So definitely the, the amount of efforts you are putting right from now will be definitely a positive one and it will definitely help you in regard to clearing the prelims and mains and the interview right in the first attempt. So definitely your mode of preparation right from now is very very important. But many of the questions will have the background history and the basic information and that you can have only when you have a solid 
solid current affairs right i mean almost two to three years that is very important and dk uh, naresh has joined very good morning to you naresh and i hope uh bhuvanesh you have got the point i think you have understood last see if you can go ahead with uh, going ahead with uh, following the current affairs from now you need not really what you say put in lot of effort at the last or before the exam that is in the year 2022 or 2023 only just you can go ahead with the revision then but very important is the current affairs because nowadays the upsc prelims or mains point of view you will have many uh, uh, conventional questions which are based on the contemporary issues that is the current issues so please make sure that you are having that very good approach of blending the conventional with the current issues and now i'll get into the today's topic which says that mediation in the age of covid 19 so definitely we are talking about the age of covid 19 so we will look at what is that is really required or what is that is really demanding at the time of or during the time of the covid 19 or at the age of the covid 19 situation and that is what is now what is important or need of the are that is the mediation that is the mediation so mediation is the one which is very very important and then which is really required at this moment because of the covid 19 because of the social distancing maintaining the physical distancing and then making sure that there would be only few few people who would be attending in the courts so as there is lot of restrictions as compared to the conventional courts and now post covid 19 so definitely there is a mediation which is required and when we are talking of mediation it is the online mediation online mediation and definitely it has what you say various advantages and also there are some questioning in regards to the online mediation so definitely we will look at what are the advantages what are the questions questions which are also prevailing through the online mediation and what is that is important at this moment at this moment that is at the time of the covid 19 how the judiciary system of the courts have to function and then we would we would go ahead with how it was actually in the past how it has actually come up with the various reforms and how it will move forward in the age of the covid 19 pandemic situation so definitely we will look at a new kid on the block a new kid on the block is only an online court mediation or online mediation is the new kid on the block and we will also look at what are the various convenient and cost effective methods whether if we are going ahead with the online mediation whether it will be really convenient and cost effective whether it will be really helpful for the entire people itself for the courts for the what do you say uh, just uh, judges for the judiciary system and to the one who was involved in the cases how it is really helpful in regards to the online mediation so we will look at all those and now i'll get into the topic so definitely we have we live in a strange times so what are what are the times we are leading uh, living now it is a strange time because of the covid 19 pandemic situation nobody has what do you say at least thought about that it will grip or it will get bring in the entire globe into a grinding halt so it has become a strange times and old certainties have given way to new uncertainties please look at this keywords both two keywords old and old certainties have given way to new uncertainties and this is very important the entire what you say concept revolves around this old certainties have given way to new uncertainties what are the new uncertainties that is now we are getting into the mode of uh, trying to adjust ourselves which we were not earlier which we were not earlier that is getting into the mode or trying to have that kind of <clears throat> situations wherein we were not able or we were not used to maintaining the physical distancing wearing mask and then making sure that we are into that health hygiene practices and then social distancing online or video conferencing all these have become new uncertainties have become uncertainties for example what we will look at the uncertainties and the old certainties also so if we look at down the ages we know this this is lady of justice lady justice and you know that you have a sword here in one hand and in the eyes are blinded blindfolded and then you have the 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 one which actually says that justice will be delivered and justice is almost equal so definitely it is much like a rock of gibraltar so here the author is trying to compare the lady justice with the rock of gibraltar why because the rock of gibraltar is also very much in regards to the stability is very much in regards to stability that it will overcome any kind of situation that is weather condition so definitely the same kind of correlation is been done by 
rock of gibraltar to lady justice to lady justice but also being resistance to change so definitely this lady justice and then rock of gibraltar are the one who are in regards to the stability they are they are in regards to the stability and they are resistant to change they are resistant to change that means they are very firm they are very firm they are very strong so that is what he is trying to compare the lady justice with the rock of gibraltar or gibraltar however you pronounce and then it was so strong or it was rock rock strong that it was very resistant to change but one thing has one thing is definitely changing the entire scenario what is that it is one bug what is that bug it is the covid 19 sars cov 2 what is the bug which is what do you say uh, ensuring that there is instability or there is definitely a change which will happen that is one bug that is nothing but the covid 19 disease or sars cov 2 and the lady is reeling lady is the lady justice lady of justice or lady justice is reeling what do you mean by reeling is also at a shock is also at a shock amazed or shocked because of the bug that is covid 19 situation and now we'll get into the what you say the comparison we have looked at and now we'll get into the what is that actually mediation in the age of the covid 19 so definitely we are we will be looking at the situation or the uh, system which was legal system which was in place and how the legal system is slowly transforming and then getting into the mode of uh, getting adjusted to the new uncertainties to the new uncertainties so it definitely at the heart of adversarial system what is meant by adversarial system that is a legal system so it was which was an legal system which was almost like an open open setting and it was full of clients or fellow uh, lawyers and then there was a kind of what you say dictated modes of thought and approach behavior in the entire integral or integral to the system so definitely the old system or else the legal system that is adversarial system adversarial system was a system in the open setting and then a gaze gaze of clients means gaze of clients means in the sense the one who were clients there were many of them many of them were the clients and also you could see various fellow lawyers sitting there in the benches and also a kind of dictated modes of thoughts and approach you have a you had a dictated thoughts modes of thoughts and approaches and also behaviors so these were part of the integral legal system but things have changed but things have changed and how the things are changing that definitely the adversarial adversarial system which was totally with the in the in the open setting and then with the clients and also with the fellow lawyers all that is been now changed and then now the system is getting into the mode of mediation with very limited people with a very limited people and now if you look at justice justice must not only seem to be done but judges may must also be seen while they are engaged in the task of doing it so definitely now the system is changing the way the justice system was earlier there as we have discussed and then the judges in regards to what it is in regards to the it is in regards to this this dictated modes of thoughts and approach behavior this is what we are talking about so the justice system also was in the dictated modes of thoughts and approach and behavior that is a dictated thought dictated approach dictated behavior was in the justice system and in the judges and slowly that is now getting into what is a different mode but presence in numbers necessitates proximity and now proximity spells danger so definitely in the old system we had that open system or we had many people that clients when we were talking about the clients or the people who were sitting there with were with lot of people lot of people but now the number necessitates proximity so definitely now the system what we are talking about is the proximity that is a closeness whatever the close closely packed or it was closely packed courtroom earlier it was closely packed courtrooms but now the closely packed courtrooms are not really required or not really what you say will be in the happening that is the proximity spells danger that is closed packed or proximity is a danger now why because of the covid 19 spread of the spread of the covid 19 so definitely closeness or closeness 
closely packed or the proximity of people being very close it spells a danger and that is why it is now the old certainties because of the proximity which is spelling danger the old certainties is now getting into the new uncertainties please do understand why because earlier clothes courtrooms were very very closely packed it was very lively but those kind of scenarios will not prevail now because of the covid 19 because it 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 spells danger that is closely packed spells danger for the lives of the people so deprived of their natural settings of the courtroom judges and lawyers have fallen back to the talk of virtual court so definitely now in regards to what we had earlier court system or open court system open system now it is in regards to the virtual courts now entire system is changing that is in regards to the whatever the natural system was there in regards to judges and lawyers and the clients of the people now it has been slowly drifting towards the virtual courts and that is the bare essential is achieved and that is very very important now and very very important is to maintain the proximity or maintain the distance why because the proximity spells danger and what are the other features of the courtroom are eschewed eschewed in the sense avoided or abstained so definitely the other features what were there earlier in the open court system were now avoided why because of the public system is converted to a closed door one so now earlier in this virtual court system now it is in regards to the converting into a closed door one closed door one that means you will remain you will remain in a uh, one room and then you can go ahead with pronouncing the judgment or you can be part of the discussion of the judgment itself as a as a lawyer or the judge or else the part of the being uh, the people being in the courtroom now it will not be all that but it will be a virtual court wherein you will have the public setting he is totally converted earlier you had the public setting that is converted into a closed door one so now it is a closed door one and this is a new kid on the block so what is a new kid we will look at that is a another tool in the dispute resolution harmony which is resistant to covid-19 and perhaps could even thrive on it and this because of what you say the covid-19 the spread of virus would be virulent that is why we need to move away from the open system open court system into a closed door system or virtual courtroom into a virtual courtroom and how can this happen it can happen through mediation it can happen through mediation and what kind of mediation are we talking about yes it is the one which is popular opposite to the court process so definitely we were into the mode of the court process that is all what i have discussed now now we are getting into the just opposite this opposite to the earlier court process system and now we are getting into the virtual courts and when you are getting in the virtual courts what is the one which is into the action now it is the mediation it is a mediation which is into the action now and this it tries and this mediation tries to aside, uh, achieve consensus and through mediation what will happen is now you will have a consensus you will have consensus consensus between whom between the parties that is the parties who are involved to come to an amicable agreement that is you have different parties together here that parties will come together for to find a consensus or to go, come go ahead with an an amicable agreement amicable in the sense which is accepted by both the parties wherein you will have an amicable agreement but earlier there would be kind of what you say win or lose verdict but now it will not be part of the legal system what it was earlier but now it will be a mediation which will be on the basis of the consensus when you are talking about the consensus yes definitely it will be consensus in regards to or in between various parties which are involved in the case and that outcome will be amicable agreement that is which is acceptable for the both the parties parties and its core is confidential uh, discussion so definitely what is the core of the virtual virtual courts or the mediation is the confidential discussion is the confidential discussion between the mediator between the mediator and the parties 
and between mediator and the individual party. So definitely what is very, very important or which is the core of the mediation that is the virtual courts, which is just polar opposite to the court process that is the open system is the consensus, not only consensus, but also the confidential discussion which happens between the mediator and then the parties or there or between the mediator and the various individual parties required depending upon the case and this mediation what it happens is through the mediation it is uncovering the interest so whatever interest was there earlier in between the what is a mediator and then the parties or in regards to the entire what is a discussion the law is involved it is uncovering the interest so definitely whatever personal interests were there it is now uncovering and eliciting suggestions from the parties themselves for practical solutions to end the dispute so here in this case definitely the virtual co code will get into the mode of mediation and then the mediators now along with the mediators the parties will get into the mode of a finding out a practical solution finding out a practical solution to end the dispute so definitely through the virtual Quotes, there could be an amicable agreement. There could be an amicable uh, agreement wherein it will not be a kind of what you say, win or lose verdict. But definitely the mediation will be helpful in trying to make sure that the mediation, that is a virtual court, the mediators will have the consensus in regards to the different parties and also in regards to the mediator and the parties or the individual parties and where, whereby you will have an amicable agreement. Amicable agreement and also confidential discussion would be taken into consideration. Confidential discussion between the mediator and the various parties or the individual parties. And it focuses on even in regards to the uncovering interests, interests which were earlier there. And the other one is in regards to the as much essential attribute. So we were talking about the virtual courtroom or the mediation. So what is very important, we have discussed few points that is in regards to the consensus. That is in regards to the consensus and through consensus we will go ahead with the amicable agreement. Amicable agreement. And not only that, what is essential is that formal justice system in the open court hearing medi mediation essence is in closed door communication. So what is here is along with the consensus the other one is in regards to the mediation's essence so entirely what is the essence of the mediation that is the what is the necessity of the mediation's essence in a closed door communication that is with the guarantee of confidentiality so what is the one which is really an essential attribute of the virtual courtroom that is the mediation one is consensus the other other one is mediation essence so what is mediation essence in the closed door system it is the guarantee of confidentiality what we have looked at and the other one is that is the flexibility and adaptability the other one is also which is an essential attribute of the virtual court or through the mediation is the flexibility and adaptability so this is very very important so definitely through the virtual through the virtual courtroom that is a mediation you will have the flexibility adaptability mediation essence that is a guarantee of confident confidentiality and also consensus that is the amicable agreement so we have we will definitely focus on mediation structured mediation and online mediation these are the keywords which we will be focusing in the entire discussion are you all getting the point we will be discussing about mediation structured mediation and online mediation so definitely we will we have looked at what is mediation that is in regards to the consensus wherein you will have amicable uh, agreement the other one is in regards to the guarantee of confidentiality and the third one is in regards to the flexibility and adaptability and now we will look at the structured mediation please do understand the keywords it is very very important for main's point of view when you are talking about the virtual courtrooms from the open court system to the virtual courtroom because of the covid 19 pandemic situation that is the old certainties old certainties towards new uncertainties please do understand old certainties towards new uncertainties that is what we are talking about and first is mediation second is uh, structured mediation and third one we will be discussing in regards to the online mediation and now as a process of structured mediation this is a new kid on the block it is a new kid or new kind or a new kid on the block 
with an existence of mainly two or dec three decades in India. That means we are not really having much of experience in regards to the structured mediation. Mediation, structured mediation. So structured mediations, we are just into that mode for only two or three decades in India and a couple of more decades across the world wide also. And definitely in this, you have the conventional litigation and arbitrations are vintage. Vintage in the sense at time spanning hundreds of years and generation of judges and lawyers. So definitely if you are talking about the structured mediation, definitely it will be focusing in regards to the conventional litigation and arbitration. Arbitration is what? That is mediation. One who is getting into the mediate, mediating and then trying to resolve the legal issues. And now they are all on this, both the conventional litigation and arbitration are vintage or vintage. That is, it has become a time period or an epoch. Epo. And the spanning that is spanning hundreds of years and generation of judges and lawyers. So are you getting the point? The conventional litigation and arbitration are now the vintage. Vintage or vintage. That means it has become a time period. That is a, a, a very big time period or an epoch. Wherein it is spanning hundreds of years and generation of judges and lawyers. So please try to understand that how how this session will be useful that is in regards to the judiciary system and definitely mediation is an idea whose time has come and rapidly gaining movement so definitely structured mediation if you look at it, it was very old and then now if you look at the mediation it is now which is very very important and it is gaining what do you say rapidly it is gaining rapidly and it is what do you say moving at a very faster pace in regards to making sure that there are reforms there are reforms in the judiciary system reforms in the judiciary system itself and these are all part of the reforms in the judiciary system that is mediation structured mediation and online mediations are all the what is a part and parcel of the reforms in the judiciary system itself please do understand i think you're all getting it and this is what is a new idea which whose time has come now i mean that is the new generation the reforms is now uh, uh, to be taken up or to it has to come up and it has to what you say actually get into the mode in action that is rapidly gaining ground and legislation has given it legal structure and definitely in these regards now the legislation is also given the nod nod in the sense the legal structure and its safeguards legal structure and safeguard for what safeguard for what for me uh, for mediation for mediation so definitely it is a new uh, arrival or it is a new beginning or it is the need of the hour for the part of the reforms in the judicial system and the legislation has also given its legal structure and safeguards and provided the assurance that the courts will implement mediation agreements and they have given the assurance who the legislation has given the assurance that the court will go ahead with the courts will go ahead with the implementation of mediation agreement please do understand here mediation agreement so definitely this is very very important that the mediation is the need of the hour and it has gained uh, a ground uh, ground uh, rapidly gaining ground and it is also a legislation which has given its legal structure and safeguards to the mediation agreements and it has also assured that the courts will start implementing the new concept that is called as the mediation agreement mediation agreement and indian judges have been enthusiastic and have, they have been embraced that they wanted to what is say get into the mode of implementing the mediation agreement mediation agreement that is in regards to making sure that the courts will be a virtual courts now and the lawyers have steeped in adversarial waves. Adversarial waves have said that. Adversarial means legal. Adversarial system means legal system. Adversarial waves means legal waves. Legal waves. That is the old one. Have surprisingly wound up to a system which is its antithesis. So definitely now the mediation system or mediation agreement which is antithesis. Antithesis in the sense which is opposite or it is converse or reverse of the older system that is adversarial system that is the legal system which was earlier now they are warming up to a new system that means they are getting into the mode of trying to get adjusted or get into the mode or get into the practice of a new system that is the mediation agreement mediation agreement so definitely there is a need of the mediation and that is getting momentum and now 
we will look at the online mediation so definitely the online mediation will enable the online mediation and this online mediation will enable the mediator and parties so definitely it will enable the mediators and the parties to assemble together assemble together that is through the online through the online that is the computer screens on the computer screens you can see them they are assembled on the screen perhaps they are 100 miles away but they are assembled that is the what is the greatness of online mediation that it will be convenient cost effective and it all it will also bring in people that is a mediator and the parties very close together on the computer scheme screen even though they are hundreds of miles away but because of the online mediation they are virtually coming together are you all getting it mediation structured mediation and online mediation and definitely you will have the discussions in the virtual meetings and these discussions can be guided giving parties and lawyers the opportunity to put forth the views so definitely in the virtual courts or the online mediation you will have the what you say mediator and the parties so here there is a what you say availability or the opportunity to put forth the views by the what you say lawyers mediators is a lawyers and then the various parties so definitely the, the the parties who are involved in the case will be given a chance or they would have an opportunity to go ahead with the discussions and put in or put forth their views so definitely there would be a discussion which will take place and this is very very important in regards to the online mediations okay madhu says sir can this be effective okay that is the point that is the point we will also discuss what are the what do you say uh, uh, gaps involved there are advantages and there are disadvantages also i will discuss that and last we will come to a conclusion madhu there are advantages there are disadvantages also we will discuss both now we are looking at the advantages there are what do you say gaps also we will look at the gaps also and then we will make sure that we will conclude it okay madhu so there can be a discussion there can be a discussion and then the opportunity will be provided for the parties to have or to put in their views when separate meetings are required the mediator can at the click of a button move to the other party so definitely you have various for example here so definitely when the mediator that is a lawyer want to have the discussions with the other party so you can just click on that and then you can go to the other party and then have the discussions put in place so that it is having a virtual room the virtual courts are that is the online mediation is having a virtual room for the mediator and then the various other parties so this is also very very important not only the discussions but there can be a separate meetings separate meeting again on where sitting at your place itself that is through the virtual uh, virtual courts that is through the separate meeting through the virtual room being in being in a what do you say uh, virtual rooms and the great advantage is the online mediation this is what we are talking about the great advantage is the online mediation is along with this it is convenient and it is cost effective and it is also efficient use of time so look at it there are various advantages in regards to the online mediation where the mediation the parties will have the discussions in place the parties can put forth their views and also the meetings can take place wherein separate meetings can take place uh, the lawyer can go ahead with the virtual room uh, uh, being provided with the virtual room in the virtual courts that is online mediation to also have the press, uh, what do you say talk or discussion with the other parties and then the greatest advantage of the online mediation is also like it is convenient cost effective and then the effective or efficient use of time so please do take it into consideration these keywords convenient cost effective efficient use of time and then separate uh, uh, separate meetings can be taken up and then opportunity to put forth their views all these are very very important and parties do not bear cost so there is no cost only just the internet and what you say the uh, system which is required and they do not have to travel they do not have to wait long they do not wait long for hours they do not have to undergo adjournments so definitely we have seen many adjournments 
in the uh, what do you say uh, the uh, uh, decades and multiple visits that is various times coming back to the courts and then go to the mediation center so all these are what you say advantages so definitely making sure that there is no cost involved i mean minimal cost not repetitive cost or recurring cost and then they should not i mean no need to travel many times many a times no need to wait for longer hours no need to undergo any adjournment motions or in regards to having multiple visits so this can be very very important and advantages convenient cost effective and cost effective and efficient use of time and much can be done using this medium to faster results and ultimately this online mediation would re result in a faster outcome faster outcome of the cases because there is always a possibility that this parties can be switched i mean the, the the mediator can switch over the parties and then also can discuss in the virtual room and what will be missing in this process is the immediacy so now we will look at what are the shortcomings advantage we have seen the shortcomings we will see the immediacy immediacy is means what it is the quality of state of being immediate immediacy and then directness this will be missing and then complete contact so all this will be missing or kind of what you said disadvantages you can say immediacy immediacy in the sense quality or state of being immediate that may not happen and that directness will you will not find any direct con directness or complete contact that is possible only in the face to face meeting so so definitely the adversarial system that is a legal system which was earlier that is a open court system cannot what do you say compensate with the online media uh, online mediation because there is no directness there is what do you say no complete contact or face to face meetings do not take place and the other one is that in the online process or in the online mediation the participant we are giving the participant a little cocoon of safety so the other one is that the participant that is the parties will have a kind of safety because definitely there is a, a kind of sense i will look at the issues or situations wherein the parties might be attacked might be attacked so there could be what do you say unsafe situation for the uh, safety uh, for the safetyness of the parties but here they are giving i mean the online process is giving a participant a little cocoon to safety that is as we are creating a grainy barrier of two screens so definitely you will have various screens and then you will have various parties so definitely you are creating a some kind of what you say safety ness and then grainy barrier to two screens and an intermediate world of in internet that is definitely the two screens are definitely into the mode of safety ness because of the intermediate world of internet and wifi because of this there is a kind of sense of safety ness provided by the online process to the various pa pa parties because there could be a situation wherein the parties in the court room they they could be that is the, that is emotional feelings would be very high in the court and then they could it could lead to some kind of what you say face to face confrontation that is been what you say provided safety here in the online process and it will certainly be a benefit though it is a benefit why because in the open court rooms you have emotions which will run high and that will lead to face to face con uh, confrontation and this will increase the conflict it will increase the conflict where not in online media online mediation but in the open court system but in the virtual courts this will certainly benefit why because it will ease the emotions it will ease the emotions that will it will relax it will cut short the emotions which are running high and that might create a kind of what you say sense of conflict so that is also been what you say uh, brought down or it has been shortened so that no face to face confrontation takes place because you are on the computer screen by the wifi connected and we have seen many a cases in the matrimonial cases matrimonial cases and the family business disputes family business disputes and in the matrimonial cases we have seen that there is lot of tempers and emotions which arise which arise in the domestic situations that is in the court rooms open court rooms and that might create a kind of what you say since that you will get into the face to face confrontation and it will lead to conflict but here in this case when you are into the online process or in regards to the what you say the system wherein you are on the computer screen it is providing a safety cocoon of safety and that is what is very very important that we are 
not running to the entire emotions of high and not into the conflict but definitely there is a sense of situation of creating safetyness is provided are you all getting the advantages of this these are all advantages of online mediation you never know the question could be directly on the online mediation itself and we have what do you say various parties who are located in different countries can also be come together come together without any kind of difficulty in regards to the distance so definitely this will bring in people very close very close for just what you say having little bit of the one which are required for the that is a system or computer or a laptop and then the internet internet so if these are there, the basic one you can make sure that people from various different countries have to or can be part of the entire process itself or the legal process itself but earlier there were very cases that the if the person parties are staying in the different countries they have to come back to india and then attend the court and then move back to the the countries where, where they are and this now the new rash is the webinar show that is the seminars which happens to the online the web is the webinar shows and this will make the, it easy to get people from different locations to one platform that is what i have been talking about the various parties if they are in various what you say various countries or various countries so definitely they can get into what is a webinar shows and then they can come very close on one platform even though they are staying in different locations or in different countries and this online mediation has a host of advantage but also bears some cautioning now madhu your point is now has come into point so we have looked at the various advantages in regards to the online mediation and now we will look at some cautionings or some kind of what you say disadvantages definitely confidentiality will be compromised or can be compromised confidence confidentiality can be compromised here since hearing could be recorded why it is comp uh, compromised because the hearing can be recorded and service providers have to be vigilant and the one is the one who is providing the service that is the service providers have to be very very vigilant that they are not into a kind of hacking will take place they have to be vigilant that is it can be recorded that is why the confidentiality is at stake or compromise confidentiality is compromised because it is recorded and the service providers have to be very vigilant and rules have to be have to penalize participants for breach so definitely if the parties are breaching any kind of what you say various parties are breaching any kind of rules that is breaching the of court rules <clears throat> when we are talking of the court rules it is a virtual court rules virtual court rules if they are breaching then they have to be <clears throat> penalized and what is the other one is the technical glitches these are the one which are really what you say concern technical glitches that is in regards to the internet services internet services and definitely the technical glitches has to be minimized and then internet services has to gear up that is it has to be increased that is in regards to the clarity and uninterrupted and uninterrupted feed that is the streaming we are talking of the streaming you have to have a clarity and also you need to have the what is a continuous streaming which has to take place otherwise we will come across the technical glitches in regards to the virtual uh, court system or in regards to the online mediation which again may not be a successful one in the near future so what is very very important is taking care of the technical glitches and then the internet services the speed of the service the clarity of it <clears throat> the picture and also the uninterrupted feed that is the streaming also should be taken into consideration and if all these are taken into consideration so definitely it could be a, a, a prospective one or the one which is <clears throat> definitely required at the time of the covid-19 pandemic situation and also that open court system would also be or else video conferencing could also be a process which they were actually looking into it and that can be a, a real possibility one and then above all is that there are apprehensions in regards to the online communications apprehensions in the sense there are worry there is a worry in regards to the online communication that online communication will exclude the underprivileged see look at it that is what madhu now i you are getting it i mean you will you will definitely understand all this what is that because of this what do you say online mediation first and foremost thing is that there is the confidentiality will be compromised and then the service provider has to be very vigilant please do understand confidentiality will be compromised service provider has to be vigilant and then also in regards to making sure that 
the recording take place that is also a, a a caution or a disadvantage and also making sure that we need to get into the mode of making that the technical glitches technical glitches should be uh, minimized minimized and then there should be clarity and then streaming should be perfect that is a continuous streaming and all this if you look at these are all kind of what you say drawbacks only fine along with that what is the one is we are trying to exclude this with might exclude the underprivileged in trying to get to the one that is in regards to the <coughs> online mediation in regards to the online mediation or online communication so this will exclude the underprivileged because they are the one who cannot afford who cannot afford for the access to internet who cannot offer access to internet so these people will be what do you say excluded because they are underprivileged so that they cannot afford for the access to internet and they do not have the capacity or assistance to use it and they do not have the capacity or they are not literate enough literate enough to have access or have that assistance also do not they cannot have the access or the capacity to go ahead with accessing the internet and these are the what you say the one which are backlog or it is sorry it is a uh, one which is a disadvantage and along with this what is also important is the exclusion will be tantamount to denial to access to justice so definitely when you are talking about the exclusion of the underprivileged so it will create it will what you say uh, uh, apply to even the denial so this will definitely get to the point that you the justice is been denied denial access to justice so justice is denied why because of the underprivileged people they cannot afford to ac access to the internet and also they do not have the capacity or the literacy, literacy or the education to have the assistance to get into the mode of the online mediation are you all getting it so madhu i think you got it so now we will look at the conclusion so we have looked at the mediation we have looked at the stru uh, uh, structured mediation we have looked at online mediation the advantages of it the disadvantages of it or the gaps and then now we will look at as we meander in the dark so definitely we are in the dark we are in the new uncertainties to find out to we are in the dark for what to find out new normal is going to consist of we may well discover a good part of the world to dispute resolution that is in regards to the uh, judiciary system dispute resolution has been flipped and that covid 19 is a harbinger or harbinger of change so it is the what is the necessity of the change to taking online concessional resolution to a higher level so what is important is this online mediation <coughs> or virtual courts have to be what do you say have a more resolution to a higher level we, we have to get it to a more higher level and perhaps this cloud too has a silver lining so definitely the one we are talking about the online mediation do have the silver lining that means it could be a probable that it could be a game changer it could be a it could be that is what i am saying it could be a game changer in the entire judiciary system itself that is the reforms in the judicial system reforms in the judicial system so definitely the covid 19 has is been an harbinger or it has been and what do you say a, a, a compulsion of the change in regards to the online concessional resolution which we need to get it to a higher level and now we will look at the question for the day the question for the day is if the state and its courts that is high courts or whichever courts if the states and its courts are going to allow and encourage if the courts and the states are going to allow and encourage online mediation to resolve disputes weaker parties must be assisted and enabled to avail this facility i forgot to write the question okay i mean did you get the point here the one in it is in regards to if the state and the courts are going to allow if they are going to or if they are getting into that is a madhu the question now your question is this the question to you again question because we have looked at everything to allow and encourage online mediation to resolve the disputes 
to encourage and allow the online mediation for what to resolve the disputes comma weaker parties must be assisted and enabled to allow this facility that means weaker parties that is as i was discussing about the exclude underprivileged one so weaker parties are the underprivileged one they should be assisted and enable to avail the this facility which facility the online facility or online mediation facility or virtual court system itself so the question is if the state and courts are going to allow and encourage online mediation to resolve disputes comma weaker parties must be assisted and enabled to avail of this facility discuss discuss so weaker parties vulnerable sections or the underprivileged one have to be assisted and enabled to avail this online mediation it is the question so you have to what is the right underprivileged yeah underprivileged is the one the one who cannot afford say that means okay poor poor who do not have see early, actually poor people many of the poor people cannot actually also dare to come to the courts or get on to the steps of the courts steps of the courts but now we are talking about the what is a total virtual system itself virtual court system or online mediation so definitely it will be a, a kind of what is a, a difficult situation for the underprivileged or for the poor people poor people who are illiterate who are economically socially culturally backward and who are not aware of all this so definitely for them i mean the for, um, they also should be taken into consideration and they have to be assisted and avail they should be availing this facility so definitely the entire discussion in regards to the mediation in the age of covid 19 in the age of covid 19 is the one what we have discussed and definitely online mediation could be a probable keyword or the key phrase for the prelims and mains especially mains especially mains so here we have seen the host of advantages and some cautioning also that is disadvantages cautioning also we have seen and the host of advantages also and this will definitely what do you say make you feel that what is that importance of reforms in the judicial system and the reforms in the judicial system are in the making the the making of in the making of the reforms of the judicial system the making of the reforms of the judicial system and this is one what is one the online mediation that is at the time of covid-19 pandemic situation so we have looked at all this extensively which you have now the what do you say answer for the question that is the state and courts should focus or assist and enable the underprivileged or the weaker parties to avail the online mediation so how you will write the uh, what do you say the uh, answer that is talking about the judiciary system fine and then this is history of judiciary system you write the answer first you get get the entire uh, indian judiciary system prior to that that british india or before prior prior to british india the what do you say the culture or is the prior to that in this what do you say uh, ancient times what was the judiciary system and then british india and then i mean when I'm, when you are talking about the history and then independent india independent india judiciary system and then slowly what is that where the challenges which have actually uh, brought in for the revival of the other reforms in the judicial system challenges and for the challenges what measures are we talking about and the measures part of the measure is in the reforms is the online mediation that is because of the covid 19 situation that is because of the covid 19 situation and how we are, when we are talking about online mediation again we would, you would be talking about advantages and disadvantages and then ultimately your conclusion should be that 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 the courts and the state should focus on the weaker parties or the the underprivileged one or the poor people fine this is how your answer should go ahead jyoti kumari has just joined okay panchayat to virtual judiciary 
have you joined now or jyoti you have, you have been uh, long back itself and then good morning to you first of all good morning and welcome to you jyoti have you listened to the entire class jyoti and this is how i have given the what you say uh, flow chart or the structure structure for your answer structure to the answer ancient times british india and then indian independent uh, independent indian judicial system and then what were the challenges uh, we were facing and then how the need for the revival or the reforms of the judicial system and now because of the covid 19 Uh, what are the measures that is through the online one and then advantages disadvantages and conclusion by the what do you say uh, making sure that you are protecting the weaker uh, people or the underprivileged people or the poor one 1030 okay fine so you were on time itself almost so uh, i think everyone have understood this and please do take the question today for today's question you take it and then definitely this will be in regards to the judiciary system or judicial system polity in the polity you will get this question polity or in the issues in governance also judiciary part of judiciary paper 2 Okay, Chetan. Very good morning to you also, Chetan. And then uh, I hope it was a very informative, knowledgeable one. And then do like the video, share the video, subscribe. And then while you're watching the Let's Crack UPSC CS English, make sure that you go ahead with subscribing using my code SBT10 while you are subscribing for 12 and 24 months. And do not forget to use my code SBT10 because you can avail 10% discount. And the other channel is UPSC CS English in 10 minutes. and the telegram link is let's crack upsc csc english and then the telegram link which you can connect to me is t.me/sandeepbhushansbt t.me/sandeepbhushansbt and then uh, again see you tomorrow at 7:30 am 7:30 am for the newspaper analysis and then later on again at 10:15 am for the uh, hindu editorials and analysis and then thank you all and all the best for your preparation thank you all see you tomorrow at 7:30 am <clears throat>